What's up everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make diamond using Blender and Eevee as a render engine. First thing, we enable an add-on called Extra Mesh. So it's not this one, it's this one, Extra Mesh, which will add a number of different primitives that you can use. From the menu, Mesh, we go to Diamonds and there are three different diamonds. I'm not an expert on uh, stones and gems, but apparently there are different cuts. I'm not going to keep this because I feel that this is just the geometry diamond. I'm just going to shade these two. They look more like real diamonds that you can find in uh, jewelry. It's worth mentioning that when you create any of this, you have a number of options. So you can uh, fiddle with this depending on what kind of effect you need. I'm going to use the standard one. So first thing first, you go into the render properties and enable screen space reflection. Make sure that refraction is also active. Then we go into the shader editor. We select the object we want, add a new shader to it, and we start with basic uh, settings. So we remove the roughness altogether. I want to actually visualize what I'm doing. So I'm going to click on um, viewport shading with the material preview. Um, let's add the same material to the other object so they can change at the same time. You can see the differences between the two geometry with the same material. We go to the options and you want to enable blend mode to alpha blend because I want to see some transparencies. And the first thing you notice is that they are behaving weirdly. So you don't want actually to see the back face of it. And right now they look better, they look solid. I want to enable screen space reflection, but I also need to add the transmission value from zero to one because they're going to be completely transparent. Right now they are refracting the lights and this is the result just without doing much. Of course, the main look will change depending on the environment you're using. So the surrounding will make the object change color because it's highly reflective. But what we want, it's also the refraction of the um, environment. So the real object in the scene. So let's add the plane quickly just to see how this material behaves. It's a white plane. So from the top, I basically see all white while from the side, I can still see the background, which is the HDRI that I'm using. If I assign a material to the plane, I can show you how the refraction is in fact working. So let's add the checker texture so you can see what's going on here. You can see now that the diamonds behaves in a very cool natural way with the background. Let's add some color to it so it's even more clear what's happening. Uh, let's add another one. Okay, now you can clearly see when I move the diamonds, they change color and they reflect the surrounding pretty well. Now, this is a very basic material. You can make it more complicated. It will certainly be heavier on the system, but the effect may be uh, worth exploring. First of all, one thing you may want to do is changing the roughness, for example. It here it depends on how clear and how pure it's uh, your diamond. You can also change the color if it's not diamond that I assume it's completely transparent. It may be something like an emerald, for example then I think something like this would probably work. I don't know, I'm not an expert on stone, but this is a quick way to get a nice result. Don't forget that when the object is very far, it doesn't really matter because you're not gonna be able to see the differences. The main difference here is if the object has a flat shading or smooth shading. I'll show you what I mean. If I select the object and I go with smooth, that's what's gonna happen. This is not what a diamond look like. 
it's interesting it's some kind of glass but it's not a diamond so you want to select shade flat and now you have all the faces let's see how can you make it even more realistic one way it's adding mix shader here and then we'll start with refraction shader we add actually three refraction shader we'll use an add shader to combine this three shader so this goes here and then we need another of this one to concatenate all of this so first one going first then the second channel go into another add shader where i can add the other two and you should not see anything special going on at the moment because they are all set with the same refraction index so the IOR index of refraction is set to 1.45 depending on the on the stone or the material you may want to change it to perfection but what I'm doing now it's only showing you this uh, light dispersion effect so let's select red on the first one green on the second one and blue on the third one and still it doesn't look any difference but if we change the um, index of refraction let's say 1 1.55 and 1.6 for example now you can see that there are more colors let me change the background to something um, simpler so you can see the colors even if there's no color in the scene you see the dispersion of the light and this is exactly what happens in uh, nature so the light doesn't travel uh, exactly straight but change direction depending on the density of the material and the impurity of the material and once it changes um, direction, it creates this kind of rainbow effect. Now you can change slightly the roughness. But what you can do is actually blend how much of this colored effect you want. You can decide, for example, to only show this effect in some part of the object. Right now, for example, the effect is not visible that much in the center of the object but it's visible on the sides more and you can of course change the behavior using the fresnel if you leave it to one it basically it's going to eliminate the effect that we created so you may use this to decide how much of the effect you want this is all real time with Eevee. Of course, if you enable cycles, you can get a more realistic uh, material even more, but it's going to take longer to render. So if you have a lot of diamonds in the scene, it's probably the best way to do it. It's using uh, Eevee. As you can see, you can use the same material with any glass object. With this material, everything is becoming some sort of jewel, some sort of precious rock. And don't forget that you can still change the color of it and having many different rocks. Don't forget that if you use it on an actual smooth object, you still have some sort of glass effects and there's still the uh, light dispersion here. So the three channels they are different, so it may still be used as a glass shader don't forget that you can always enable the bloom and probably with a smaller radius and with a higher threshold so you will get this nice glow effect even on eevee where the area are brighter i'm gonna increase the intensity so you can see that better it just adds up a little bit of realism to the scene feel free to download the project files i'm adding the link in the description and let me know what you think from a physics point of view there are better way to achieve a more realistic effect but this one is the fastest way to achieve this kind of result 
and it's also the fastest to be rendered. So when you have a very complex project, using the shader won't slow down too much. It's real time. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel and stay safe, guys. Ciao.